Imagine waking up one day to the harsh reality of tanks rolling down your streets, the quiet of the morning interrupted by the deafening sound of gunfire. This is the daunting reality of the Russia-Ukraine war, a conflict that has sent shockwaves far beyond the borders of these two nations. It's a high-stakes game of power and control, with repercussions that reach far and wide on the global stage. Countries around the world watch with bated breath as the tension escalates, their own geopolitical standing, alliances and economy potentially hanging in the balance. From the United States to Israel, from China to Europe, the tremors of this conflict are being felt everywhere. The war has triggered a complex web of diplomatic maneuvering, economic upheaval, and a humanitarian crisis of frightening proportions. This is not a scene from a dystopian movie, but the grim reality of Ukraine, a nation embroiled in a war with Russia. To truly understand this conflict, we need to journey back in time. The tale of Russia-Ukraine relations is as complex as it is profound. It's a tale that begins in the ashes of the Soviet Union, when Ukraine declared independence in 1991. This was a time of hope and apprehension, a time when Ukraine was carving out its identity on the world stage. The relationship between Russia and Ukraine during the post-Soviet era was marked by a delicate dance of diplomacy and power plays. The Orange Revolution of 2004 was a turning point in this dance. This peaceful series of protests brought the pro-Western Viktor Yushchenko to power, much to Russia's chagrin. The revolution symbolized Ukraine's desire for a democratic, transparent government and stronger ties with the West, which didn't sit well with the Kremlin. The tension escalated with the eventual annexation of Crimea by Russia in 2014. This move was a shock to the international community and a violation of Ukraine's sovereignty. The annexation of Crimea was a bold and controversial move by Russia, marking a significant escalation in the conflict. It was a clear statement from Russia, a demonstration of its willingness to assert its power in the region. It's crucial to note that Israel maintained a strict neutrality during this period, refusing to join Western governments in condemning Russia's actions. This neutrality was a delicate balancing act, as Israel sought to maintain cordial relations with both the United States, its chief strategic ally, and Russia. However, the recent shift in Israel's stance, with a less friendly approach towards Putin, adds another layer to the complexity of the situation. And thus, the seeds of discord were sown, leading to the conflict we witness today. The war, like a malignant tumor grew over time, affecting not just Ukraine but sending shockwaves across the globe. The Russia-Ukraine conflict has a timeline that is as complex as it is troubling, and this timeline serves as a sobering reminder of how quickly peace can be disrupted. The first significant event in this timeline was in 2014, when Russia annexed Crimea. This brazen move, which saw Russia absorbing an entire region of Ukraine, was met with international condemnation. Yet it marked the beginning of a conflict that would only escalate in the years to come. In the aftermath of the annexation, a pro-Russian insurgency took root in eastern Ukraine, giving rise to what is known as the War in Donbass. This war, which started in April 2014 and is still ongoing, has led to a humanitarian crisis, with thousands of people killed and millions displaced. Fast forward to 2023. The conflict took a more alarming turn. The Russian invasion of Ukraine marked a significant escalation in the conflict. This invasion, which was met with international condemnation and led to widespread sanctions against Russia, resulted in a substantial shift in the dynamics of the war. The invasion was not a sudden event, it was a calculated move by Russia, which had been gradually increasing its military presence along the Ukraine border for months. The invasion was followed by intense fighting, with both sides suffering heavy losses. Russian forces advanced into Ukraine, capturing key cities and strategic points. As the war progressed, there were notable shifts in international relations. Israel, which had maintained a strict neutrality, became less friendly towards Russia. This was due largely to Russia's reduced forces in Syria and the opportunity for Israel to supply Ukraine with defense systems. Meanwhile, the war had a significant impact on global energy markets. The conflict led to a spike in natural gas prices affecting countries far beyond the immediate vicinity of the war. However, as time went on, efforts to rebalance gas stores and a return of warmer weather led to a significant drop in gas prices. The war also led to a change in geopolitical alliances. Western governments, which had initially condemned Russia's annexation of Crimea, began to take a more active role in supporting Ukraine. This support took various forms, from economic sanctions against Russia to the provision of military aid to Ukraine. 
Despite the escalating conflict and the mounting international pressure, Russia has remained defiant. The war is far from over, and the future remains uncertain. However, one thing is clear. The Russia-Ukraine war has had a profound impact on the world, shaping the course of history in ways we are still coming to understand. In the face of adversity and conflict, the timeline of the war unfolds, shaping the course of history. The ripples of the Russia-Ukraine war have reached far beyond their borders, affecting the world in ways more than one. The global impact of this conflict is vast, with economic, political and humanitarian implications that are felt across continents. Let's begin with the economic aspect. One of the most glaring impacts has been the fluctuation in natural gas prices. With Russia being a major exporter of natural gas, the conflict has caused significant instability in the energy markets. Following the onset of the war, natural gas prices in Europe and the United States initially skyrocketed. However, by mid-December they've dropped significantly, reaching levels last seen before the invasion. This is due to a combination of factors including the return of warmer weather, efforts to rebalance gas stores, and Europe's reduced reliance on Russian gas. Yet, this doesn't mean the crisis is over. Despite the recent drop, gas prices in Europe are still more than four times higher than the average over the past decade. This has led to increased financial strain on consumers, with some countries even committing significant subsidies to shield their citizens from price increases. Moreover, the volatility in the energy market is a stark reminder of how geopolitical conflicts can disrupt global economic stability. Now let's turn our attention to the political implications. The war has triggered a significant shift in alliances and international relations. Israel, for example, has long maintained a neutral stance in the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. However, following the invasion there's been a noticeable shift in Israel's policy. Benjamin Netanyahu who returned to office after the invasion has become less friendly towards Putin and is reconsidering Israel's policy on the Ukraine war. This could be seen as an attempt to curry favor with Washington, as Netanyahu's new coalition government is viewed with suspicion by the Biden administration. On the humanitarian front, the war has been nothing short of devastating. Thousands have lost their lives while millions have been displaced, leading to one of the largest refugee crises in recent history. The international community has rallied to provide aid, but the scale of the crisis is overwhelming. The need for a peaceful resolution is more urgent now than ever. As the world watches the war unfold, it grapples with its far-reaching impacts. The economic, political and humanitarian consequences of the Russia-Ukraine conflict serve as a sobering reminder that in our interconnected world, no war is an isolated event. As we stand at the precipice of uncertainty, the outcome of the Russia-Ukraine war remains shrouded in mystery. The world watches as the dynamics of this conflict continue to evolve, with alliances shifting and peace seeming elusive. In the heart of the Middle East, Israel, a key player in global geopolitics, is reassessing its stance. Traditionally maintaining a strict neutrality, Israel is now showing signs of a shift. The return of Benjamin Netanyahu to office has seen a cooling of Israel's relationship with Russia. The reasons behind this are multifaceted, ranging from Russia's reduced forces in Syria to the potential opportunity for Israel to test its defense system's effectiveness in Ukraine. This change could also be an attempt to curry favor with Washington, as Netanyahu's new coalition government faces skepticism from the Biden administration. While the war wages on, another battle is being fought in the global energy market. Natural gas prices in both Europe and the United States have seen a significant decrease since mid-December, reaching levels last seen before the invasion of Ukraine. The warmer weather and efforts to rebalance gas stores have contributed to this decline. However, the relief may be temporary as prices could rise again if demand from China increases or supplies are disrupted. As for the war itself, the outcome hangs in the balance. Peace talks continue, with many nations stepping in to mediate. Despite the complexity and tension, international efforts are focused on finding a resolution that respects Ukraine's sovereignty and stabilizes the region. However, the road to peace is fraught with challenges. The war has not only caused immense loss and destruction but also significantly altered the geopolitical landscape. It has created new alliances, strained old friendships, and invoked the specter of a prolonged conflict. The future is uncertain but the hope for peace persists. The world waits, watches and hopes that diplomacy and dialogue will eventually prevail over the devastation of war. The Russia-Ukraine war is not merely a conflict between two nations, 
It is a testament to the indomitable human spirit and the enduring quest for peace. We've journeyed through the unsettling reality of this war, tracing its roots from the very genesis. The timeline of war unfolded before us, revealing the stark and relentless progression of conflict. We've delved into the global impact, understanding how this war reverberates far beyond the borders of these two nations, affecting the world at large. We've also explored the current scenario and speculated on possible outcomes, realizing the profound uncertainty that still hangs in the balance. This conflict serves as a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of our world and the profound impact of geopolitical shifts. It's a testament to the resilience of nations, the pursuit of sovereignty, and the indomitable spirit of humanity amidst adversity. As we navigate these tumultuous times, let us remember that peace is not merely the absence of war, but the presence of justice and understanding. 